the story of Princess Hadijah, the daughter of the last Ottoman Caliph, and the wife of the richest man in the world. Princess Hadijah, daughter of the last Ottoman Caliph, Abdulmjid II, married Muhammad Ali Ibrahim, one of the wealthiest men in the world. Born into Ottoman royalty, she witnessed the empire's fall and lived in exile after the caliphate's abolition. Despite the immense wealth from her marriage, Hadijah's life was marked by the loss of her royal status and homeland, symbolizing the Ottoman family's transition from power to a new, uncertain world. Her story is one of resilience and adaptation amidst significant historical change. The following is details of her life. Princess Durushafer, born Hadijah Kariya Aisha Durushafer, was the beloved and only daughter of the last Ottoman Caliph, Abdulmjid II, and his wife, Atiyah Maistihan. Born on January 26, 1914, in the Samka Palace in Uskadar, Istanbul, she was renowned for her beauty and was a favored child of the Sultan, who often painted her portraits and displayed them in the Dolmabaz Palace. In 1924, when Princess Duru Shefer was just 10 years old, the Ottoman dynasty was expelled from Turkey following the abolition of the caliphate by Mustafa Kemal Ataturk. The family was forced into exile, marking the beginning of a life filled with hardship and nostalgia. After their expulsion, Caliph Abdulmjid II and his family settled in Nice, France. The family struggled with financial difficulties, and Duru Shever recalled these years as a time of broken dreams and fading happiness. A few years later, the family moved to Hyderabad, India, under the hospitality of Nizam Osman Ali Khan, the ruler of Hyderabad, who was one of the richest men in the world at that time. This move marked a significant change in their fortunes. In 1931, Duru Shefer married Prince Azam Ja, the eldest son of Nizam Osman Ali Khan. The wedding took place in Nice, France, and Duru Shefer became known as the Princess of Berar. This marriage was seen as a union that bridged Asia and Europe, and the Nizam's aim was to gain Islamic legitimacy through this alliance. The Nizam of Hyderabad was the highest-ranking prince in British India, ruling over a vast territory that is now part of three southern Indian states. The family's wealth was immense, with the Nizam being one of the richest individuals in the world, possessing vast amounts of gold, silver, and jewellery. Duru Shefer's cousin, Princess Neela Fair, also married into the Hyderabad royal family wedding the Nizam's younger son, Prince Mozamja. Neela Fair was considered one of the most beautiful women of her time, and the Nizam's hope was to solidify his claim as the future caliph through these marital ties. Following the death of her father, Caliph Abdulmjid II, in 1944, Durushevar sought to have his body repatriated to Turkey. She visited Turkey as the Princess of Berar and met with President Ismet Ananyu, but her request was denied, leaving her heartbroken. After years of trying to fulfill her father's wish to be buried in Turkey, Durushevar finally arranged for his body to be interred in Medina, near the Prophet Muhammad's, PBUH, mosque. This decision brought some peace to her knowing her father was laid to rest in a sacred place, although not in his homeland. After years of trying to fulfill her father's wish to be buried in Turkey, Durushevar finally arranged for his body to be interred in Medina, near the Prophet Muhammad's, PBUH, mosque. This decision brought some peace to her, knowing her father was laid to rest in a sacred place, although not in his homeland. Despite the Turkish government's offer to restore the citizenship of the Ottoman family members, Durushevar refused to regain Turkish nationality. 
She remained deeply hurt by Turkey's refusal to allow her father's burial there and chose to retain her British passport, visiting Turkey only occasionally. Princess Durushevar, also known as the Turkish Princess of India, passed away on February 7, 2006, in London at the age of 92. She instructed her sons, who were living in Hyderabad, to bury her in the Muslim cemetery in London, Rookwood, rather than in Turkey. Her life was a testament to her unwavering loyalty to her father and her love for her homeland, despite the hardships she endured.